Hello, it's Alex and welcome to Hey Little Thrifter. Today I'm going to be reviewing Phantom by Thomas Tessier. This was originally published in 1982. This is an excellent coming of age story about a young boy who moves to a new town and he believes there is an evil entity pursuing him but is it real or is it just his overactive imagination? The story starts when Ned is just four years old and he and his parents live in an apartment in the city and one night he wakes up to these strange noises in the middle of the night and yeah I won't spoil exactly what happens but there is an incident that occurs that night which yeah, it's somewhat traumatic for Ned and it adds to his fear of things that go bump in the night and also makes him aware of his own and his parents' mortality and the fact that death could be right around the corner for any of them. The story then picks up a few years later when Ned is nine going on ten and his parents have decided to move out of the city and they have bought a house in a small town on the coast. And they arrive in town during the summer, so because school is out, Ned doesn't really get the opportunity to meet any other kids in the area and he's a bit of a loner anyway and spends a lot of time on his own and in his own head, so that doesn't necessarily bother him, even though his parents do want him to get out there and make friends. But he does make a couple of friends and they are these two old codgers called Peeler and Cloudy who run a bait and tackle shop in the town. It's very ramshackle and run down and Peeler has run it for years and Cloudy is one of his friends who yeah, just kind of hangs out there a lot of the time and they go fishing and crabbing together and yeah, Ned meets them and they all become fast friends and Ned joins them in hanging out at the shop and going on fishing trips with them and such like. And during one of their conversations, Ned learns about an abandoned spa in the town this huge building on top of the hill and it used to be a like a wellness spa with like hot springs and was a big attraction for people to come to the area and stay there for the healing properties and such like but it went out of business some years ago and has been abandoned ever since and Ned is warned away from ever going there but of course the forbidden nature of the building only adds to his curiosity and so he treks up there one day and starts exploring. The scenes when Ned is exploring this area and the ruins of the spa were really well written, I really enjoyed the atmosphere here and yeah, just not quite knowing exactly what kind of trouble he was going to get into. Those scenes were some of my favourites out of the whole book and they were really creepy. But the creepiness doesn't stop at the abandoned spa. Ned is also plagued with fears in his new home. It is an old building and it has a history and he is convinced that there is something lurking there that is one day going to catch up with him. Is it the scarecrow out on the land of their home? Is it something to do with the strange noises he hears in the walls? Does it have something to do with the abandoned spa? There is quite a lot going on here and there's a really great mystery element to it and yeah you're not quite sure exactly where the story is going to go. I thought this book was excellently written, I really enjoyed Tessier's writing style and I particularly enjoyed Ned as a character. I think it can be difficult to write child characters and 
not have them come across as childish but Ned was such a well-written and believable child character and I think the author really captured that sense of being that age, of the innocence of that age and that ability when as a kid everything you see contains magic and adventure. And even though Ned is just a young boy, he is dealing with some serious topics like death and the fear of death basically and he is coming to terms with that as he grows older but is very aware of it and fearful of it. Another of my favourite parts of this book was the relationship between Ned and Pila and Cloudy. That relationship was just so lovely and wholesome, it was really genuine and there was a lot of humour there in their conversations and their banter. I thought that relationship was really well done and again believable and yeah just these characters were really interesting and unique. And some of their conversations do tackle some serious subjects as well which yeah I thought was really interesting. I already mentioned that some of my favourite scenes were the ones that took place when Ned is exploring the abandoned spa and there was one in particular that involved spiders and yeah I might have a bit of a fear of spiders especially big ones and that fear was definitely put to the test uh, when reading one particular scene in this book involving spiders. It was so well done, really effective and creepy and yeah genuinely made my skin crawl so that was a very well done scene. There are some other really effective scenes here when Ned is experiencing certain things and you don't know exactly what is real and what is in his mind, in his imagination and I really liked the somewhat ambiguous nature of that. And I don't want to go into too much more detail I don't think but I will say that this does involve some similarities to It by Stephen King which I thought was quite interesting because I haven't really heard anyone talk about this book and once I finished reading it I was surprised that I at least hadn't heard anyone compare the two because of the similarities. And interestingly Phantom came out in 1982 and It came out in 1986 so it did make me wonder if King took some inspiration from this because it does involve that idea of an entity that can take different forms and plays on your fears. So yeah, let me know if you have read this and had the same thoughts. And I guess on that note I would recommend this whether you liked it or not. I think if you did like it you would hopefully enjoy this one too because of the similarities. That kind of coming of age story set in a small town and battling some kind of evil and I think if you didn't like it you might still want to check this one out because for one it isn't nearly as long. I mean it is very epic and sprawling and this one is a lot more focused and tighter story-wise. So that might be something that you would want to check out if you weren't a fan of It by Stephen King. So I guess I'm just recommending it to everyone but you know just wanted to cover all bases there. I think the only parts of the book that I didn't enjoy quite as much were the parts that focused on Ned's parents. There are some scenes where it focuses on them either individually or as a couple and they were definitely necessary to the story as a whole in giving context to certain things and of course fleshing these characters out as real people so it was still well done but I think every time I was reading those scenes I just wanted to get back to Ned's story because that was way more interesting. 
This book is a bit of a slow burn and it does have a somewhat slower pace but it is really well written and the story does build slowly up to a culmination of things and it does have a rather trippy climax, that's all I'm gonna say but it was, yeah, not quite what I was expecting I don't know if anyone could expect what happened to happen very strange, I liked it a lot though and yeah, I really liked how the story ended not gonna say anything more, I think I'm just gonna leave it there so yeah, as you can probably tell, I thoroughly enjoyed this one, I rated it 4 stars out of 5 and I thought it was really well written, a really captivating story, it is set during the summer months so perfect summer read if you're looking for something to finish the summer off with. It also managed to have a somewhat magical feeling as well and you know that feeling of wonder as a kid and that innocence and the loss of innocence as you grow older and it was really touching as well. Yeah I loved how it combined that kind of magical touching quality with some really really creepy stuff. It's a real shame that this one doesn't seem to be more well known because I really think it deserves to be and I would definitely class it as another hidden gem and one that I would highly recommend checking out. So those were my thoughts on Phantom by Thomas Tessier. Let me know if you've read that one, I would love to hear your thoughts about it. Thank you ever so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye!